Alright guys, in this video I'll discuss about zinc and this is daily chart. So according to the moving average, zinc is running in a downtrend in a daily time frame, like large time frame. So in this area, most of the people are thinking prices are running in an uptrend. Have you seen in this area? But if you wanna see according to moving average, price is running uh, in a downtrend because 50 moving average still running below 150. So they are confirming trend is still running in a downtrend. And the later we have seen price are respecting moving average uh, near 200 SMA, right? So here we have seen two confirmation we have seen here. One is 20 moving average, they are bouncing because they are respecting previously from 20 moving average and a little more below uh, from 20, uh, 200 SMA, price just dropped down. And uh, similarly, in this area, we have seen a little more below 20, 200 uh, moving average. This is SMA and price dropped down from this area. All right. Now you can see if price is running in a downtrend, can we enter for the sell? Or where is the support and resistance line in zinc? Let me draw some support and resistance line. So first we have seen, uh, this is supporting line. Uh, that was a supporting line now because uh, becoming a resistance right now. Why I drawn this line? Because in this area we have seen multiple rejection from this area. Have you seen multiple rejection from this area? But right now we can see yesterday, Zinc broke this supporting line. Then where is the next support? So similarly, we are looking for some key point where price are respecting or rejecting many times. All right. So let me show you. Right now, where is the price is running exactly? We have seen some uh, reject uh, rejection point are there because this line around 182 are respecting from both side. So let me show you. So price we have seen hit reverse, right? Hit reverse, right? Hit reverse, right? Hit and reverse. So we have seen multiple rejection in this area exactly around 182, right? 182.40. So we have seen another supporting line. All right. So next you can see where is the next support are there. So let me draw by connecting previous lower point so swing lower point so i'm gonna connect so why i'm not connecting this point right why i'm not connecting this point because this line we have seen multiple rejection from this area so that is why we draw on here now question is that right now price are near the supporting line can i start the buying from uh, above this supporting line answer is no so we are looking for sell only. Why I'll tell you. According the moving average behavior, oh sorry, according the candlestick behavior, when price are approaching this supporting line, we have seen large momentum candle. That means still seller are dominating. So first we have seen small candle followed by large candle followed by even larger candle that means seller momentum are increasing so when seller momentum in, are increasing it is a probability to break the supporting line and trend will continue toward the downside so that is why we're looking for sell only is it clear all right so uh let's check it in the four hour how it should look like that and uh, similarly we have seen four hour same momentum uh, there right large candle even larger candle uh, continuously you can see continuously price a uh, uh, seller pressure are increasing so we are looking for sell only so now can i start selling in this area suddenly no that is also wrong concept or wrong decision so then when will you start selling so let's just jump to 15 minute chart so here we have seen 15 minute chart now you can see according to the 15 minute chart price are respecting moving average 20 have you seen price drop down 
again retrace toward moving average 20 again drop down and retrace near 20. so exactly we have seen price are respecting moving average 20. so we have seen this is our sell opportunity right now right if you want to enter your sell what is my sl my sl will be somewhere above 20 level 20 uh, 20 moving average so here you can see this is our sell entry and this is called one r right one risk so you must place your sl just a little more above 20 moving average so where is your target you can you can set your target around 2r right somewhere here like that right that means one r that means if you want to take two percent entire your capital so uh, if you are ready to lose two percent entire your capital then you are going to gain four percent entire capital all right that is the main trading system all right that is called position sizing always maintain that position sizing all right so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.